I've used Notion for the last seven years, from using it to pass with distinction in uni, all the way to growing our company last year to consistent 20K months. I've even helped hundreds of entrepreneurs build their own systems inside of Notion, doing anywhere from 5K per month up to a million a month. Today, I want to show you everything you'll need to know in 2025 if you're wanting to use Notion. The good, the bad, and all the considerations you should take when doing so. If you stick with me for however long this video is, I have no idea how people say stick with me for that many minutes and they've not even edited it yet. But stick with me with that time and I'll show you everything you need to know. If you're also looking to scale your company with systems, I have a seven day series that can help you do that. So the link will be in the description. Notion is way more powerful than people think. And often it's seen as a note taken up and that's really about it. And to be honest, when it first started, it probably was that. It was focused on becoming something that you could use as a productivity system. But Notion is like anything, the more that you use it and the better you become with it, the system becomes better with you. And it's one of the reasons why in the top 500 companies in the world, I believe it's like 50% of them use Notion for some of their teams. It's a really good way of just diving deeper into what it's actually capable of. You might be wondering then what businesses are going to benefit the most when it comes to using something like Notion. So when it comes to using something like this, to be honest with you, it can work for any individual in any company that's looking to use it. But I've always found those service-based businesses work best with Notion. And especially if you've got some team with you, if you've got clients that you're working with, this is always a fantastic way to actually use this and get the most out of it. First off, I'm gonna take you through the core of Notion and sort of what it is. I'm gonna to describe to you some of the basics of what you should be knowing and what you should be understanding. Because the biggest problem that people have with Notion, the biggest thing that I see, is is that you are essentially just thrown into the deep end and shown do whatever the hell you want with it. Now, most people are going to panic at that point because at this point of not knowing what's going on and not knowing how to do it, you will quickly lose interest in how it works. And therefore, you're either going to set up your business in a way that's not going to be scalable or you're just going to quit and go back to like Apple notes. And that is again, not going to be scalable for the future. So if you just stick with me and ask any questions in the comments, I can create videos on exactly what you're looking to actually improve on this. First thing that we're going to talk about is pages and databases. Now, the easiest way to describe this is in a database, you're wanting to link that to different places to be able to see. So what you're seeing here is a linked view of the client's database. I can show this in multiple ways. So you'll see here, there's certain things that I'm showing. So the traffic light system, date joined, days in company, months in company, but in active clients, you'll see that that's not there. However, these are the same database. I'm just showing different things that are here. I'll hide that so you can see it. I'm just showing different things that are there in any way that I'd like to see it in this database itself. Whereas inside of a page, you can't actually link that view the way that you would want to. All you would use the page for is more so holding the database or typing information inside of that database. Because if we're looking in here, if I click onto one of the clients, you'll see that there's things that I can already link inside this page. This is where I can write. This is where I'll take that information but we have all of the extra added things up the top here of their stage of the roadmap, of their email, of their traffic light system, and more information on this side of where they've joined and when they've joined. And this gives us so much more customization and why many people fail at using Notion, because a lot of the time they'll just create new pages after new pages after new pages, and that really won't help over the long run. All that's gonna do is it's gonna cause everything to be clunky and everything to not work in your favor. Whereas now what I can do is I can use the slash command and linked views of databases and I can link any database that I want to actually show here. So if I just do the clients for YouTube one, you'll see that this comes up and I can then start to filter and set the way I want this database to look. This is what we're moving on to next of showcasing the ability of using Notion to showcase different views of databases. So if we come out to the layout function, you'll see there are eight views that you can use inside of Notion. We have the table view, which we're seeing here. We've got the board view, which can then be split into boards. We have a timeline view, and this is best for maybe like tasks or projects that you're doing. We also have a calendar view of seeing calls, things like that. A list view, so just a list of their name. Gallery, which you can actually then put the page cover and you can see photos and stuff like that. We've got charts, which you saw at the top, but there's no point of creating the chart because we can already see them up here. And the final and newest one that Notion have added recently is a feed view. So essentially you can now see all of your clients without having to click into the databases themselves. Just like the tasks as well, you could do this for any page. It means that instead of having to click into a page, 
post itself. If you have noted something down in these pages, like I have with Andrew, you'll be able to see them here. So if I remove those, it then updates too. There's so many ways that you can really use Notion. And this is just an example of a creative system that we've made for videographers, where essentially you can break down absolutely everything. You can have a daily journal that you're using voice notes to work with. You can check out all of your monthly calls. You can have your CRM. You can track your content and how things are going with the planning stages of what you've actually got. There's so much that you can actually do with Notion when you really get the hang of it. And that's the biggest problem that they have. People don't spend the time to actually learn the system that they need to learn in order to take this further. If I was recommending anything to anyone actually starting out in Notion, first thing that I would do is use the slash command. So if you use the slash command inside of Notion itself, you're going to be able to see basically everything that you can do inside of Notion. You've got linked views of databases and there's little text boxes there that just showcase exactly what is meaning when it's doing that. Now with the ability of AI meta notes as well, this takes it to a whole other level. I've been using this for journaling and I also use this for any meetings that I have. And it's such a great way of actually just breaking down things inside of Notion because I can then take notes as I'm actually transcribing what I'm doing. It's then giving me notes back, it's giving me ideas. And again, you can even take that a step further and using things like the AI blocks to then use descriptions of what you're wanting to do. So that's the first two things I want to cover with the core of Notion. Understand the differences between databases and pages, and then also just using that slash command. The more that you use this, the better you're gonna become at it. And the easier it's gonna to be to start to pivot to using a system that can scale your business further. The thing I forgot to mention is that if you're a little bit worried about how to use Notion and what you could use it for, there's things at the bottom that you can ask it to do. So there are templates that Notion has that are actually really, really good to get started. The difference obviously you're going to find with it, you will often use databases only for a short period of time before you start to need to get it to work in your favor. And that's where the templates can maybe not work as great. But if you're wanting to just get started and you want something simple, these are fantastic ways to do that. And I'd highly recommend it if you're maybe not so comfortable with doing all the things that you want to do yourself just yet. Now we're on to the best use cases for your team. And what I recommend the most when it comes to using Notion inside of a team or as a solopreneur. Now, the biggest one that I speak to people about when it comes to Notion itself is genuinely just being able to track how the business is doing. So things like your client database, things like you're working on the business, things like your notes, your ideas, your company meetings, your client meetings, having all of those in the one place is a really, really powerful way of using Notion. Again, if we come back to this creative system that we've made for those videographers in particular, it's things like planning your content, your CRM, calls and sales, your SOPs, your resources, video trainings. There's so many things that you can use this for to your advantage to make the company run smoother. The biggest thing for me when I've used Notion with Teams or with anyone is generally just having one source of truth. One of the biggest issues you'll run into when growing a business is that if you have notes everywhere and you don't plan very well and you don't know where to find things, your business becomes very chaotic very, very quickly. And if you don't know how to solve that or you don't know how to get this to the place you want to get it to, you're going to run into problems with every system that you use. And why having that central source of truth is a really good way, not only for you, but for your team to stay on track with the vision that you've got for your company. Something that I always recommend doing is setting up your own individual pages inside of the team and basically customizing that in the way that it works best for you. Some people like seeing things in calendar views. Some people like seeing things in database views. Some people like seeing things in group views as well. There's so many ways that you can actually use Notion to actually accommodate yourself. And that's what I really, really like about it. Because instead of just forcing you down one path, and this is the only way to use it, you can essentially choose to use it in any way that works for you. Also can be a disadvantage, I won't lie, because then you have to figure out what works best for you. But if you're committed to making your company better and scale with systems, then this is the exact way to do it. Feel we've covered the basics of what Notion is and how to actually use it. Just in general, I want to cover some of the more advanced things that you can use Notion for now especially as they've started to move forward with the AI side of things. So one of the big things that they've introduced is meeting notes. And these meeting notes can be really, really beneficial. I've been testing it for the last month or so, whenever it was actually released. And inside of the meeting notes, you can then use AI blocks to take it even a step further. So what I've been doing is every day, I've been voice noting my AI just transcript. 
And then I answer these questions inside of that voice note. Once that voice note has been done, I then essentially ask it to act as a professional copywriter and then use that knowledge that it's got on me to help me come up with content and with ideas and things that I need to cover. I've given it my ideal client profile. I've given it some of my hooks that I've used and I've given it some of my current goals and vision of the company. And this again is just taking me to a whole other level when it comes to my business. I use this for every call that I have with individuals, whether that be clients, sales calls, discovery calls, anything that I'm having, I'm recording it because Notion AI is going to allow me to ask any questions that I'm wanting to and find particular pages or things that we've spoken about so that I can use it for the future. That's another one of the big struggles that companies have is that because information is everywhere, they don't actually know how to find it or where to find it. Whereas within Notion, if you've got this, then it gives you the ability to find it just with a simple question. If you're actually looking for where this is and you're wanting to get Notion AI, it's down the bottom. Now, another really cool thing with the system that is now being created is you can connect more apps so you are able to connect a multitude of apps from your slack your sharepoint uh, teams gmail there's so many things that you can actually connect when it comes to notion and again this is why you're going to start to slowly not need other systems as much or stop having to go between them because Notion is gonna be able to search inside them. If you're a Slack user as well, Notion has started to add far more powerful automations when it comes to Slack, where you can send notifications directly to specific channels, which is gonna be a game changer for those of you who connect and talk with your clients on Slack because you are going to be able to basically notify them on how things are going and how things are moving forward without you even having to lift a finger. Inside of these automations as well, you can send Gmails to your clients too if they're signing contracts or if there's particular things that you need them to look at, then again, you can take this to a whole other level where you're running essentially most of your business inside of Notion. Obviously, what we're looking at here is for people who have used Notion a little bit. If you are still a beginner, I'm going to create a video completely for beginners of Notion itself and how you actually build a full business inside of Notion because I know it can take some time to get used to this and actually use it in the way that you're wanting to. Notion has also now become even more powerful with the ability to use webhooks. So you can connect every single app that you use using something like Make, NAN, Zapier to be able to ping things into Notion. Some use cases that I've used it for with clients is taking data from Google Sheets into Notion if they're wanting to track it inside Notion. When people have booked calls in Calendly or Acuity, again, going inside of Notion. And you can do this with literally anything. You could do it with Slack, your Go High Level. You could do it with Pipe Drive. You could do it with so many things that you are actually using. There is just endless things. As long as you know a little bit about automation, you'll be able to use Notion to keep it centralized and not have to go hunting for all that information. Now, there's a few mistakes to avoid when it comes to using Notion itself. One of the ones is trying to use everything too quickly. I see so many people starting on new systems and it doesn't have to just be Notion itself, but they start on a new system and they are terrible at just trying everything and anything. They'll build 45 different databases. They have no idea how to link them together. And this just causes more problems than actually solves. So start with one thing. It could be a task list. It could be notes. It could be your brain dumps, whatever that is. Start with one thing and understand how it works as a general basis. Understand the database. Understand how you can filter it, how you can sort it, how you can group it, how views work. All of that is going to give you all the knowledge you will need because more often than not, what Notion would be is that you would create the database and you would then filter it the way that you want to see it on that page. And that is essentially the repetition that you're going to make for your whole company. So trying to make 64 different databases to start with is just not going to work. 15 to 20 minutes a day on improving your systems is going to make a wildly bigger difference than just trying to dump it all in one day and hope that you're going to get it. Another big mistake to avoid is thinking that everyone works the same. So when you're moving to a new platform, everyone thinks a little bit differently in how this works. And I've realized this far more recently is that my brain usually works better on just seeing the database and the information that I need to see. But some people really like the visual way because they need something good to look at in order to actually enjoy using it. Because if they don't enjoy using it, then they're not going to. This is why it's really good to understand how people like to see things and how people like to work, to be able to work it around them, especially if you're working in a team. And finally, the biggest thing that I can say is learn to use databases over pages. Databases, as I'd mentioned at the start, can link to literally anything inside of your Notion workspace, even if it's not inside that particular place. If you're just using pages, you're only going to be able to mention it and call it out rather than actually link the view to a particular page. So you might be thinking, Andy, well, you love Notion. Surely there's problems with it. Surely there's things that are not as great. And of course there are. 
the one thing that comes out to me and the biggest one that comes out to me is if you are wanting to share a client hub with your clients, because that's one of the biggest things people want to do, you are going to need to use an external platform, something like Softer is fantastic at doing this. It's an ability to have all of your information in one place and give access to your clients without them seeing other parts of the databases. There's some really intricate ways around this, but as of right now, there's no way to actually share one part of a database and not share the rest of it with someone and why you would have to use a separate platform. Now, what I have found is that most platforms do struggle with this or don't offer this. You can have it in Airtable interfaces, but again, it costs a lot of money and those costs add up really quickly. I think you have to buy 15 interfaces right from the get-go and that starts at £150 a month or $150 a month. With Softer, it's cheaper, which allows you to do it. Again, there's more platforms out there that are working to become better at this, but that's one of the biggest limitations with Notion currently. The second one, again, is that there's no offline mode right now in Notion. If you are offline, you can see your most recent pages that you've been on, but it won't actually update until you get back online. They are working on both of these things, and I believe it's been confirmed at different conventions. I think at the start of the year is when they talked about it. So we should expect offline mode and also the granular sharing in the future. I just don't know when that would be. The way I've worked around the granular sharing for clients is if you're going to do it, you're either going to have to create a new database page for every client that you use, or you actually have to question whether or not the clients would even use it because you might be spending all your time trying to design a client hub that a client's not going to use. If they're better at just having a course on something like Go High Level or Kachabe or Teachable, then that can be the better route to take. Or the other recommendation is creating a Slack channel for them and being able to use automations inside of Notion to keep them up with how things are going on. Slack is the most cost-effective way that I've found and also really intuitive as you can create things like task lists and stuff inside of there. And it means that you can natively keep everything in Notion, but the integrations with Slack are fantastic. The final thing we're going to talk about today is how to scale with Notion. So if you're an actual business owner and you're wanting to scale with Notion and become better at it, there's a few things that I'd recommend you doing. The first thing is genuinely just trying to break everything inside of Notion, like make stuff, make tons of databases, make tons of different things. Just try to become an absolute wizard at Notion. Try to become so good at it that you understand it's in and outs and how it actually works. Because if you want the team to use it, they are going to have to probably have more of a buy-in than you just because you're excited about it. So if you are the sort of inquisitor about Notion inside of your company, you've got to get other people on board and that takes time. Some people need it really read out for them. People are really happy to change. But more often than not, people don't like that because it's uncomfortable. So you are going to have to be able to explain it in ways that make sense to them. They are going to have to find a way to actually showcase it in an easy way to follow. The second one is just get you used to using it every day. This is why I recommended before having your own page. And what I say to clients is inside of your own page, if you could only use that to grow your business, what would you need on there? And that allows them to every single day go onto that page and just use that one. As they get more confident and comfortable, then again, it's a fantastic way of actually building them into it. But as they use that one page, they're going to become better at it. They're going to know what they're doing and they're going to get more intuitive as they go along. And finally, use the data to your advantage. The reason why you've got everything on here and the reason why you keep everything on here is to use the data. The worst thing that you can do is track everything and never actually look at it. So for content, look at the calls that you've had that week and what you talked about. For development of your business, look at all the tasks or the vision that you're aiming for and did you actually hit it. For your clients, look at your retention and see how long on average people are staying with you. And when does it usually cut off? This is just going to give you more and more information that you wouldn't have had if you didn't actually keep track of that. And finally, now because it's becoming even more prominent, start to use AI inside of your Notion databases and use automations as well. Look at building in different systems to ping into Notion to again, even keep everything and more things inside of here. So if you are doing your meetings externally, your messaging, your documents, all that sort of stuff, try to get them into that one place. And that's going to give you such a great way of actually scaling your business further. I realized that talking in this video Notion has a lot more to it than just however long this video is. So whatever you want me to cover in terms of Notion itself, let me know in the comments and I'll show you. I've been using it for years. I help companies scale with systems and Notion is one of the predominant ones that I use. So if you want to learn more about it, then ask me the questions that you are looking to do and I'll build these things for you and I'll showcase how to actually build them so you can put it into your own business. Again, if you're wanting to scale your company with systems and you want to take it to a next level, I've got a seven day series that helps you do that. And there's more emails that I'm going to be sending every week to help you scale your company with your systems. So the link is in the description and the video on the screen right now is going to be something that will help you do the exact same.